So registration. You may register up to 10 unpublished published works on one application for $85. What does that mean? So say you got a batch of beats, 10 beats, and you just got done and you just, uh, you know, you got that work. You just put your work in. you like, man, this this some heat. These are the ones um, that are going to take me to the next level. But I want to make sure I protect myself. Um, you know, I want to make sure I protect myself before I send them out to everyone. What you have to do is you go into the uh, the registration and I'll probably, I see Booth who asked about it. What I'll probably do is, um, and I probably can't do it here, but I, because it'll take a long time. I'll do something where I'll show you all, maybe a screen record um, to send out to the group or we could post it on our YouTube or something like that to show you all how it works. And we're also working on something right now to help our community do that. So once we get that going, I'll make sure that I provide you all with that information. But to register, you can register either one song, one unpublished work, or you can register 10 unpublished works at one time within one application. And then all 10 of those beats, um, you will have a copyright registration. All 10 of those beats will be um, registered and then you can, you know, prove your ownership. And the purpose of registering your copyrights, listen to this, this is very, very important. In order to be able to bring a copyright infringement suit, um, I see the question, how much is it? The 10 unpublished works is $85. Um, that's $85 in order for the 10 unpublished works. Um, it's very, very important to make sure that, you're welcome. It's very, very important to make sure that you, um, you know, register your works because if you don't register your works, you cannot file a suit. So, in order to bring a copyright suit, one of the requirements or the prerequisites is to register your works. What does that mean? Say you got all your beats and they're going hard and you got the number 10. You see somebody stole your beat. They got the number one song on all the charts right now. And you're like, I'm going to sue them. The first question that's going to have be asked, do you have a registered copyright? Or what will happen is your lawyer before they file something, hopefully they don't file anything without checking this, but say they do. They'll file a motion to dismiss to get you out of there because they'll argue. They don't even have a registered copyright. You may argue, well, it's on Spotify, but guess what they're going to say? Not a registered copyright. So you got to have a registered copyright. Also, you also need to make sure that when you have a registered copyright, this is very, very important. Registering your copyright is not just for your protection, right? Just to be protected. But it's also important so that you have and you're able to make sure that you have, um, you know, entitled, you're entitled to statutory damages. Right. So say the statute, I forget what it is, but the, the statute for copyright protection provides certain damages for your beats. So say your beats get your beats get ripped off um, 10 million times. Well, there's a damage in a specific number that's in the um that's actually within the statute that says it's a formula so it's like for every 10 million for each infringement you get paid this amount of money but if you don't register your stuff then you don't get paid um you know you're not going to be able to get those statutory damages and you're also not going to be able to get in court so i know that may be tough i know that a lot of people just they're like i'm just going to keep doing it but just like we, you know, we all of our different things, whether it's B-Stars Academy, um, whatever it may be, everything that you're learning here, I want you all to think that your legal portion, which is just really investing in setting aside a little funds that you, extra funds that you have to make sure that um, your beats are registered. Because if something blows up, something takes off, um, and you don't have a copyright, it's going to be harder for you to get in court, which is going to delay how long you're able to get paid. And a lot of people that prey on people, they know this person does probably doesn't have a copyright. Or they can look it up. They can research. Does this person have a copyright? And if you're not, if you don't have a copyright, then it's going to take a long time for you to get what you need. So it's very, very important to do that.